Hi friends, here I bring you chapter 7, Mineral and Energy Resources of our book, India, People and Economy. This is a very, 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 very important chapter. Means it is very important chapter. It is very important. It is very important. But this is again very important chapter. And especially in this map, those are most important. Okay. So, and yeah, it is long also. It is very long chapter. So, let us start. Uh, starting with the definition of minerals. A mineral is a naturally occurring, first thing that you need to remember, naturally occurring substance of organic or inorganic origin. Second thing that you need to remember, organic or inorganic origin with definite chemical and physical properties. Third thing that you need to remember, definite chemical and physical properties. Then you can give some examples of minerals like uh, gold, silver, limestone slate etc then characteristics of minerals uh, whenever you are asked a question on characteristics of minerals do write examples okay don't forget to mention examples firstly uh, characteristics we can write that they are unevenly distributed over a space okay spatial distribution is very uneven second thing that you can write is uh, there's an inverse relation between quality and quantity of metal. Third thing that you can write is all are exhaustible over time. Fourth thing is they are available in limited quantity. And fifth thing is that they are important raw material for industries. Okay. These are not exactly the characteristics, but if you are asked a question on characteristics of features, or uh, how can you uh, describe minerals? Yes, if you can then you can write these points. These are relevant points. And also uh, give examples from India only. Try to give examples from India. Whenever, uh, like, we'll be doing this chapter. So, kafi sari examples, you will come across many examples. You can pick any of them and write it along with the points. So, here, uh, as you can see, types of mineral resources. There are metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Then metallic are again divided in ferrous and non-ferrous. And non-metallic are divided in fuel mineral and other non-metallics. So it is not division but yeah they have just divided it essay. But then non-metallic can be divided in organic and inorganic. Okay. Now the next topic is distribution of mineral resources in India and before that agencies involved in exploration of minerals. In jitni bhi agencies hai, unme se if we can remember 5 to 6 names, try to remember them. Because one time question came to write any 6 agencies and that was 3 marks. So uh, of course who would remember 6? But yeah that was asked. So you have to remember 6 at least and uh, 10 B pushi ja sakti hai na, 5 marks mein. So try to remember all of them. Even like these are all Indian. So you can remember them. Ya fir easily you know them. So uh, they are Geological Survey of India, GSI. Oil and Natural Gas Commission, ONGC. Then Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited, MECL. National Mineral Development Corporation, NMDC. Indian Bureau of Mines, IBM, Bharat Gold Mines Limited, BGML, Hindustan Copper Limited, HCL, National Aluminum Company Limited, NALCO, and Department of Mining and Geology. They are present in various states. Okay. So you can just remember them, try to remember them. The next topic is distribution of minerals in India. This is very important again. Was important. Uh, Let's see, there are three belts. First is Northeastern Plateau region. Next is Southeastern Plateau region, Southwestern Plateau region and third is Northwestern region. Okay, so when we talk of Northeastern Plateau region, uh, we'll be talking of which areas are cover karta hai, konsi, uh, what are the metals in which it is very rich. Okay, metals and non-metals and minerals particularly. 
so let's see firstly north eastern plateau region it covers chota nagpur region uh, jharkhand mein jo hai odisha plateau bengal chatisgarh like singhbhum mayurbhanj these are some important sites of this plateau region and most of the most of the iron and steel industries are located here and uh, it is rich in iron ore coal bauxite manganese mica etc next is southwestern it covers karnataka goa tamil nadu uplands kerala etc it is rich in ferrous metals uh, and bauxite uh, high grade iron ore manganese limestone no coal except lignite in naivelli and monazite and thorium in kerala iron and goa all these are the metals in which it is very rich third is northwestern region it covers aravalli uh, in rajasthan and gujarat then it is very rich in copper zinc sandstone granite marble gypsum dolomite then uh, limestone uranium petroleum deposits salt etc also it is associated with dharwar system of rocks don't forget just remember this dharwar system of rocks this is very very important directly aata hai one marks mein kaun sa hai कौन सा बेल्ट है जो कि धारवाड़ सिस्टम ऑफ रॉक्स से एसोसिएटेड है या फिर नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न किस से एसोसिएटेड है सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इट इज रिलेटेड टू धारवाड़ सिस्टम ऑफ रॉक्स ऑल्सो इफ यू आर आज टू राइट शॉर्ट नोट ऑन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मिनरल्स इन इंडिया इन कंक्लूडिंग पैराग्राफ यू नीड टू मैंशन अबाउट हिमालयन बेल्ट ओके हिमालयन बेल्ट इज़ अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट बेल्ट वेयर कॉपर जिंक लेड टंगस्टिन कोबाइट एक्सेट्रा फाउंड आसम वैली is rich in petroleum and mumbai high is also very rich in petroleum okay you need to remember about or you need to mention about these as well agar directly uh, kisi belt ke bare mein puch liya you don't need to remember uh, mention this but then if short note is asked then just mention them in concluding paragraph it will enhance your answer then uh, टाइप्स ऑफ मिनरल जैसा कि हमने डिस्कस कर ही लिया मेटालिक नॉन मेटालिक फेरस नॉन फेरस ऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक ऑल दीज आर देयर विल सी देयर डेफिनेशन इज वेल वंस या सो मिनरल में मेटालिक की डेफिनेशन दीज आर सोर्सेज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड हैव मेटल कंटेंट ओके देन नॉन मेटालिक के लिए these are sources of non metal and do not contain metal then for ferrous they have iron content and for non ferrous they have they do not have iron content and non metal uh, non metallic mein as i told you organic and inorganic are the two divisions so organic mein they are derived from buried uh, buried animal and plant life they are basically energy resources and inorganic originate by chemical reactions in earth surface such as hydration oxidation reduction pressure etc <coughs> now let us come to metallic minerals metallic minerals mein sabse pehle we have ferrous minerals so they provide a strong base for metallurgical industries firstly we have iron ore iron ore iron ore ke liye hematite and magnetite are the main types of iron ores in india total reserves in 2004 and 5 were 20 billion tons and uh, dist- uh, and then you will will be discussing the distribution and uses in a separate video then we have second uh, manganese it is a raw material for iron smelting and used to make alloys distribution and uses will be discussing in next video in another video non ferrous minerals bauxite it is used in manufacturing of is al- uh, aluminum and uh, it is found in tertiary deposits associated with laterite rocks remember this found in tertiary deposits associated with laterite rocks 
ये अगेन दिस कैन बी आस्ट फॉर वन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन देन वी हैव नॉन मेटालिक मिनरल माइका इट इज़ यूज इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंडस्ट्रीज इट इज इट कैन बी स्प्लिट इन टू थिन शीट्स विच आर स्ट्रॉन्ग इन फ्लेक्सीबल जो कि बहुत ही ज़्यादा यूजफुल होता है इट्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड यूज विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो देन वी हैव टाइप्स ऑफ देन वी हैव द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज़ एनर्जी रिसोर्स विच विल बी कवरिंग इन अनदर वीडियो बिकॉज इट इज़ अगैन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टॉपिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एज वेल सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क इन द कमेंट बॉक्स लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेल दिन टेक केयर एंड बाय